front side. He knows he's got something backside. He's throw, made that throw a million times. Now he can get backside and make a decision and give a guy an opportunity to make a play. Okay, this is the, this is the play on a three by one. What we're going to do is the same thing. Okay, we're, this guy now becomes the back. All right, does that make sense? So now we got a corner route right here. All right, again, we're front pylon is his aiming point. We want the angle to be high. Let the ball bring in flat. We're going to have a read slant here. He's going to be patient. He's going to push three steps up the field, and he's going to read this guy right here. Okay, he is going to run a swing from wide alignment. Okay, now what we're doing backside is we let our quarterback do whatever he wants to do backside to this guy right here. Okay, uh, if if they plus the linebackers over to the three receiver side, there's no flat player here. A lot of times he'll give him an out route and throw the out. Okay, if the corner's outside leverage, all right. If the corner's outside leverage, same thing. We've got a backer blitz or something here. He's outside leverage and loose. He can give him a slant. If it's press, he can give him a vertical. We just kind of let him do what he wants to do backside here. Okay? The back is actually going to stay in on this. This is one of the few times in our quick game we're going to have the back in. So we really we have six-man protection here. Okay? Back's not going to free release. We just want him to get out late. Okay? So, again, corner, read slant, swing. Read what's going on. Catch the ball, get straight up field. Okay, really simple little concept. I think people, everybody kind of runs uh, something similar to this. Okay, and again, he's got to be patient on this slant. So he can read what's going on. If he runs in there as fast as he can, it's going to be hard to see what's happening. It's going to be hard to see this guy trying to run with the corner out. 